What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Alan Wake 3. If we're going to get it, how long we'd have to wait for it. I love doing these videos, and it's definitely jumping the gun, considering this game has come out less than a week ago. I understand that. I see how it looks from the outside, people have told me, but I do get excited about the future. I have beaten Alan Wake 2, so it is time to discuss theories and you know what they can do uh, going forward here. So I want to bring it up, and I want to talk about a couple different kind of sections to this, okay? Okay. Number one, the game itself, Alan Wake 2, how it ends and how it potentially leads to a three. Does it and what you know, what does it do with that? Okay, that's part one. Part two would be, okay, well, what about sales? How about, you know, the financials of Remedy and like if that's a possibility? That's gonna be a thing I want to talk about as well. And then a third thing would be Alan's kind of role in the connected universe that Remedy is building, and if you even need and Alan Wake 3, okay? Kind of a three-part video. So let's talk about sales first. That way we can put kind of the story elements towards the end because that's spoiler stuff, but you don't have to spoil anything for sales, okay? So for right now, no spoilers. Did the game sell well? That, that's really where this is at. You know, I love what Remedy is doing. We've talked about that a lot on the channel. I love Sam Lake. I think he's a great guy. I think they're doing God's work over there, and I want them to continue, okay? I want Alan Wake 3. So if you ignore the story, you ignore like the likelihood, you know, of all that stuff. How about just can they afford it? Does it actually make sense? Well, you have to think of a few things. And it is something I'm worried. Like I've said it time and time again, I am a little concerned. It's always kind of been known about Remedy that they make these weird experiences and I love them for that, but they don't really sell. Okay, that's not that's not I'm not the first person to say that. That's not shocking. It shouldn't be shocking. The first Alan Wake did not sell well. It didn't make them the money to make a second game. Okay, they had to shut that stuff down. When the remaster of the first game came out just a few years ago, that didn't even make its money back. Okay, they didn't make money off of the remastered of Alan Wake. Still, Epic continued along and allowed them right to do Alan Wake 2. Okay, good on them. Good on because it deserves to have happened. But it is a real thing. I believe you have to think about because although it makes sense and yeah, I'm kind of spoiling the, the ending of this video. It makes sense. I think they're going to do it. Or I think at least they would want to do it right. Make a third game. Will they actually be able to? I, I want to say yes, but I wanted again to kind of start the video by just throwing it out there that still on this uh, Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody on this Tuesday where I'm recording this. They still haven't said any sales figures and that does worry me. It really does because I don't, I mean, I personally don't care about sales, right? How, how many millions of units it, uh, it sells doesn't impact my enjoyment of the game. However, you look to those things in the first couple of weeks to just, you know, kind of gauge, well, how is it doing? They haven't even said this game has sold a million units. One million, one million. Now, what was the, the ceiling for this game? Well, honestly, I wouldn't have been shocked if the most this game ever sold was two, three, four, and that's it. I really don't even think it would go, go over three or four million units. I don't think it's got that kind of, I mean, it's got popularity, but just because of how weird it is, I don't know if it would go past that, okay? Now, is that enough? Is that enough? Well, it probably is. I'd actually argue it'd probably be enough. However, it, we don't even know. You know, at this point, I'd actually like to wager a bet that the game hasn't even sold a million yet because they haven't announced it. I feel like that's a number that you, in a right way, you gloat about. You put on Twitter and you say, we sold a million in four days. That is something that you want to tell the world in terms of success, right? Everybody, everybody does stuff like that. So it does worry me that that hasn't happened. And I don't want to spend, you know, the whole video on it, but that's just something that, you know, will Alan Wake 3 happen? I want it to, but let's start with the idea of does Epic want it to? Does Remedy get the okay to actually be able to do it? Or do they have to work with somebody else? Like literally, what do they have to do to get a third game? Money is a huge part of it. Also considering money is what shut them down in the first place, and it's what has taken 13 years to get a sequel is literally the money aspect. So it is pretty darn important. You can't ignore it. Okay. So I wanted to start there. We got it out of the way. I hope that it makes enough so that we can just get a flat out. You know what? The Alan Wake 2 sold well. We've been given the okay. It's going to take eight years, but we're going to make an Alan Wake 3. I'd love to hear that. And I think sales are a big part of it. Okay. Part two is the ending of the game. So spoilers, we're not going to go super, super in-depth because we have talked about the ending before, but spoiler warning here, yes. <laughs> I mean, okay, it's very evident that they want to continue, okay? Now, DLCs, as we've talked, in fact, I talked to a Hidden Machine you know, in the, the video we made yesterday on this, 
you know, when they do DLCs, they're pretty substantial. Uh, not, not just in length, but also in what they do for the lore and for the game. They move the needle. They move what you think, you know, or I guess where, let's say, the game kind of ends, right? They move that to a totally new area and direction with the DLCs. Now, I bring in DLCs because we're going to have two of them, right? So you're going to have DLCs to continue the story that you ended off at with Alan Wake 2. And you could argue, well... Is it technically possible? And I would actually say, yes, it is. Is it technically possible the DLCs could end it where it could be such a perfect, you know, uh, ending to the story that you wouldn't need to make a third game? Yes, but it's so unlikely. It is absolutely, you know, it's astronomically small if that would actually happen, okay? I would bet against that. I do think the DLCs will provide more answers and will push it somewhere, but I think where it pushes it will be, again, a question. Will be, okay, well, you're going to need a third game to answer this question okay so that's part two part three is alan and i guess you have to include saga now because she's such an important part but let's say the alan wake like atmosphere like all that stuff where does that fit in the expanded universe that they're building and, and what i mean by this is something we've talked about or i've talked specifically about before what about jesse and control is there going to be a point and it's control to that point where they decide to really blend the games now control two i guess in that way right it would be like where alan and saga are like major characters in control two it is like all three of them and it's just this almost like avenger style like they're, they're going for right everybody's kind of coming together to face something does that happen in, in a control two does it happen in a game that's not called control or alan wake does it happen in an alan wake three i think eventually it does i just don't know where i do think that eventually all of these kind of parts to the puzzle come together to face this like giant threat. You know, we talked maybe Mr. Door is part of it, whatever. And they're going to have to do that, I think, eventually. I think that's what they're building to. Just where does that happen? But in the short term, you know, you think about their next big games. Well, you got Max Payne remake, but obviously that doesn't count. Control 2 is that next gigantic one where it's in the same universe very directly, right? And so does Alan and Saga appear there. Now, the reason I bring this in, right, is... Do you need an Alan Wake 3? Do you need a game that's literally called Alan Wake 3 to finish Alan's story? Or can you do that in a different game? Now, to be honest with you, I could see that happening. I, but and, and I also am not like super against it, but I'm also not super for it. I would honestly say I'm kind of right in the middle. I would prefer you literally make a game called Alan Wake 3 and you do it. You, you end Saga and Alan, you tell their story, and... You know, maybe you continue them on and they can be parts of other games. I mean, you're going to run into problems like how Marvel does with just keeping these characters around forever, right? Like, But that's so far out that I don't want to get too like brought down by it. But the point being, could you finish Alan's story in something else? You could. And you could also, in that way, expand it to a more expanded thing, uh, the expanded universe. You could continue on. You can do that. And I think Control 2 makes sense if you wanted to do something like that. And then if you did it, you don't need an Alan Wake 3, right? If Alan's finale of his story takes place in Control 2, and he's half of the game. Say Control 2, you play as Alan half, and Saga and Jesse half. I mean, obviously, that's too much, but you know, maybe 33% each, right? If you did that, which I think is possible, probably unlikely, right? You wouldn't need to make an Alan Wake 3 because you just did. It, it'd be like a spiritual, it's called Control 2, but it's also partially Alan Wake 3. You know, and it, that would make sense from what Remedy's capable of, right? So, you know, there's a lot going on in the noggin up here. I, I think that's a possibility, but ultimately, I think the goal is to get an Alan Wake 3. I think that name has power. I think Sam Lake probably wants to do it. Obviously, the game ends setting that up. Whether or not DLC changes it, I think you'll still want an Alan Wake 3 to finish whatever questions the DLC brings as well. To me, it really does come down to money. <laughs> like, and, and I hate that. I hate because it's it's gaming. It's escapism. We're doing it for fun. You know, we make these videos to, to create conversations and theories. Ultimately, the money is going to dictate all of it. If they don't make the money, you know, ultimately in Alan Wake 3 probably doesn't happen. Or it takes another 13 years. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.